Welcome to week one of me doing whatever the hell I want here, like the old days. These are 10 tips that I have either heard or have just come to know through uh, my years of experience doing stuff. And I wrote these with um, jobs in entertainment in mind. And the more I read them over, the more um, they apply to a lot more stuff. So if they're helpful to you, great. If they're not, great. It doesn't matter. One, don't tell other artists what to do. I don't know why we invented the internet, but it's definitely not for other artists to tell artists what to do. If you're trying to do anything and somebody's like, don't do that, consider why they might be asking you to not do that or telling you not to do that. Probably because they're in some way, shape or form scared of taking chances and they see you taking chances and they're like, well, I'm better than that person. Why should that person take a chance? It doesn't matter. That person will never matter. In order to take somebody's advice, you really gotta make sure they have your best interest at art, and how could you possibly do that unless you implicitly like trust and love the person. Every day on Twitter, there's other comedians being like, don't do crowd work. Fuck you. Don't tweet, same shit. Don't tell other people not to do crowd work because you can't, or you're scared of it, or you're overseeing bad crowd work clips on the internet. There's bad music all over the place. So you're gonna tell other people not to do music? Eat shit. Here we go, number two. Don't listen to people who don't have things that you want. Don't listen to anyone who's doing worse than you, unless they're telling you how to avoid the things that put them in a worse position. Like if you don't want certain things and they're like, this is how you avoid certain things, you listen to that, but you don't listen to their like tips on success if they don't have that. That's like me being like, here's how you get a million dollars. I've never, I've never even been around a million dollars. I've been to a rich friend's house. That's like me having been to a rich friend's house telling you how to get a million dollars. Here's one, self-awareness and work ethic are more important than almost everything else. You gotta have a good understanding of where you really are or else you're gonna seem really entitled when you ask for things that aren't for you. Nothing opens more doors than getting really good at whatever you're working on and nothing closes more doors than being entitled. You're not in competition with anybody but yourself. You, I've seen so many ultra talented people talk themselves out of getting better or practicing or even trying some new stuff because they look around and be like, well, that person did this and that person did this and it worked or didn't work for them. Do you do whatever you want? Do whatever you want in the pursuit of getting better and don't compare that shit to anybody else. You'll get less sad and you'll be more happy. Imagine that. Absolutely rest when you need to. If you were making YouTube videos for a long time and you got burnt out, you gotta rest. A lot of these are just speaking to myself, obviously, but that's what tips are. All of these are the things that I wish I knew. There's such a uh, pride in pushing through stuff and it really fucks you up. You know, push through as much as you can, but if your body and your heart are telling you to rest, you gotta rest or else nothing's gonna be good in the first place, so what's the point? Somebody in my building tried to cook the other day while they were tired and the um, fire department had to come and break their door down. It's, you could turn it off for a little while, turn off, turn the stove off. If you're ever in a situation where you would like to be having fun but nobody around you is having fun, you just start having fun. And sometimes that gives people permission to have fun. And that, I think about that all the time. You could do the same thing at Christmas if you want, if your family sucks. What's another good situation? Escape room? They're, they're, I think they're corny as fuck, but if I'm with someone who's really having fun, it's impossible to be trapped in like a Egyptian themed room and not be like, how, you, and how are we gonna get out of this one? If you have a really great idea, and you see it through and you prove to other people that it could be really great, chances are there's a big company uh, out there. Um, I'm going to the uh, Allentown. I couldn't even use the water The water was bad. And here's the last one. And hear me out before you disagree. If you wanna quit something and you're miserable, you should quit. And you should try quitting and see if that enriches your life. You should try quitting in the same way you would try something really ambitious if you were inspired by something. If you're inspired to quit, you should absolutely quit. And see how that goes. And if you wanna come back, you come back. But if you wanna quit, you should quit. Everybody's always trying to get you not to quit. No, don't quit, push through. That's how your house burns down. Anyway, it's not always your fault, but that's how your house burns down in one way or another, your hard house. This is, this is what this is. Thank you for watching.